Coaches and players, welcome back to Coach Nate Hartman on YouTube. I want to break down Anthony Edwards' game, game one and two versus Denver. Ant Edwards is getting a lot of talk in the media right now, uh, getting comparisons as a top player in the NBA. These are things that he's done uh, all year, but he's really showing out in the playoffs, uh, making the Timberwolves look like a potential uh, you know, finals contender here. Um, and he's really doing it at three levels of the floor, and it starts at the rim. Um, obviously, coming out of college, everyone knew Anthony Edwards was extremely athletic, could get to the rim. I love this action here. Um, you see he was going into the screen with Conley. Uh, Murray, it looked like it was going to be a switch with how high Murray's going to be. I doubt they're going to hedge in a guard-to-guard -guard action. So Murray is getting high in the switch. Um, he is maintaining contact with Edwards in the switch, which is something that should be taught on the defensive end. But... As I've talked about many times um, on here on YouTube and also on my Twitter at Nate Hartman underscore, as I break down different aspects of player development, as I break down different aspects of the Princeton offense and these split reads, these slip reads, Jamal Murray is no longer between Anthony Edwards and the hoop. You can see Conley pointing. So he swings the ball to Towns, which triggers the immediate slip. And Conley is pointing to Towns to throw it to Edwards on the slip. Murray's out of, out of position. Jokic is out of position on any help side. And Porter Jr. is playing McDaniels on the perimeter. He's not going to be able to recover in time. There's a wide open lane for a pass and an easy score. Here again, you're going to see. So Murray's over the top. Jokic guarding Anderson. There's no Gobert in this game. Um, so Anderson starts, starts the game, which puts Jokic in a tough spot defensively. Gordon's guarding Towns. So they got into this pick and roll. Minnesota did early and found a little bit of a groove in it. Um, of course, this is the game that they blew him out. Um, but Anderson sets the screen here. Jokic does not come up even with the screen. He's not in really a deep drop, but he is in a drop coverage. And Anthony Edwards at this point sees red. He's going to the rim. There's no way that Jokic is going to stay in front of him. Caldwell Pope comes over to help. Ant does a great job. And again, some of these finishes, you know, you may say, well, that's Anthony Edwards. That's an NBA player. You know, I can't do that. Or how do I get my players to do that? But the takeaways here on, the, on these finishes are look at his posture. Um, so he has shortened his steps at this point. He's stepping through. So he shortened them down to, make, to take longer steps to get through the defense. His chest is up, but really pay attention to his head. Look at his head tilted back. His eyes and his chin are on the rim. And now watch as he finishes this, this layup. Eyes and chin. Look, eyes and chin still up. Half of his body is underneath the hoop. He's got this wide finish in his right hand. He gets to the other side of the rim to avoid any shot block. Eyes and chin are still up. And then he's watching his finish go through the hoop. That's something I learned from Phil Beckner, being around him, being mentored by him. Part of finishing is, one, running through your finish. So he has ran through his finish. Both feet are out of bounds. Um, he went through it. He went strong. And now he's watching his finish go in, even underneath the hoop. Watch as it drop through. That's an elite finish by him. A little in and out move, which he's very good at. Then he splits the defense. And then at this point, Caldwell Pope does come over to help. He's got a kick to McDaniels in the corner. Or when you can elevate like this, you go finish. But again, chin and eyes to the rim. Here we go again. Chin, eyes to the rim. Watch as that ball go through. You can teach your players these things starting today. Gets the switch onto Gordon. Takes a little bump. Let me rewind a little bit here because this is critical. So he gets the switch that he wants. He retreats. Takes Gordon out to the perimeter. Now goes by him. Creates this little veer finish by gets gets his shoulder, his inside shoulder, his left shoulder down. He's the one creating contact against Gordon, which removes any chase down shot block from Gordon. And then he's just able to elevate and finish. I mean, he's given us a master class on how to finish here. And again, it does not have to be the athleticism that we're paying attention to. I'm talking about his posture, the way he's changing speeds the way he keeps his eyes and chin to the rim, his chest is up, the way he runs through his finish, and how he watches his finishes go through the hoop. Here he fakes the three, little give and go, two feet. Okay, there's some athleticism, but again, for your players, the pass, 
then he bursts, he changes speeds, he sprints, he gets the ball back, and he goes into a finish. Here he's going to slow down his steps again. He makes them longer to get around Jokic. And here we can teach our, our guards at any size, any level, to be a threat in the post. He's playing with his chest facing the hoop. A lot of times our post players as guards, we feel uncomfortable there, so we're going to immediately flip and try to start backing down, lose vision. A quick spin move. You can see Jokic is coming over on some help, which triggers the spin. Porter Jr. is following Reed out to the corner. Probably should have stayed and helped a little bit more. I know Reed is a shooter, but Murray could have played between two on McDaniels and Reed on that opposite side. And at that point, it's a score. Here we go again. Jokic is guarding Conley. Conley flips the screen late. Jokic is nowhere in the picture. Edwards goes by, elevates. His elbow, his shoulder are up through the hoop. Hey, okay, now let's look at some of his mid-range mid -range action. So there's a, a pump fake here. Again, that's exactly what he looks like when he shoots the three. So there's a great pump fake. Gets to his spot. He's going to take this bump from Murray. Pushes off his right foot. Elevates into the shot. Draws a foul. Tacks to his right hand. Even as he goes and finishes that shot, his chin and his eyes never leave the rim. Okay, again, a bump. He's a physical player. You can, you can teach some of that physicality, but he is behind the back, behind the back, one step drive, bump. Maintains his balance, though. He creates the contact, but he's not falling over. Here, Jokic is in a big drop. This is immediate trouble, and this is where I think um, he his game can draw some comparisons to, to people like Kobe or Michael. I'm not saying he is those guys yet. I'm um, just saying, like, comparisons of how they play the game. Kobe used to talk about getting to kill spots on the floor, certain spots on the floor where he knew, you know, if he could get to that spot, his shot was going in. In a drop coverage, I feel like this is something that Anthony Edwards, uh, you know, he has that same mentality here. Drop, one, two, dribble, pull up, score. Here he is playing out of the post, so his back is to the hoop. And again, this looks mighty similar to the guys I previously mentioned in Kobe and, and Jordan uh, playing with his back to the hoop in this kind of short corner area. You know, he's physical, he takes a hit, takes a hit, spins, takes a jump shot, even with the double team coming, gets it off and scores. Edwards took some heat coming out of college, or at least one of his weaknesses was that he couldn't shoot the three. Started off the series immediately with the three, um, a jab, a kind of a jab, and a three. Here he gets the switch, Murray switches up, Murray's playing him on the drive here, look at how far back he is. Um, Edwards has already hit one shot, so he's going to one-two step right into this shot. Feels confident, feels comfortable taking that shot. That has been a game changer for him, being able to shoot the three the way he is. Here it is, Jokic. Okay, a little sidestep. This is a great shot. It gives us a little Jordan shrug. I know I've, I've gone to that uh, comparison a couple times now, but it's just kind of fun to see some of these similarities. Uh, but he knows Jokic is not going to come up and get level with the screen. It's a 20-point game. Edwards has been shooting the ball well throughout the playoffs. He's going to sidestep, get right into the three-point shot. Now, he also pulls a ton of gravity to him as a player who is so dynamic on the offensive end. So look at where Jokic is. Jokic is two feet in the paint, nowhere in the same realm um, of Towns. He's actually guarding Kyle Anderson, but Anderson walks down and sets the screen on Towns' defender, knowing that Jokic is in no position to help. Edwards sees this. They've loaded up on him. They've created a little bit of a triangle defensively, plus Murray is on the low side help as well. That's an easy pass to Towns for a three. Here, the pick and roll situation. Towns has just hit a three-pointer. Murray's ball watching a little bit. Quick, quick pass to Towns who pump fakes and goes to the rim. Good finish by him. 
nothing in transition. But again, all eyes are on Edwards. I mean, who do we need to find in transition? We've got to find Edwards. Porter Jr. falls down. Walker Alexander steps into the three-pointer here. Love this pass right here. Gordon's trailing the play. Jokic is playing somewhat of a drop, but also not sure if he should commit. Edwards is in the air. I teach my players, you know, you can leave you leave your feet to make a pass. Don't leave your feet to find a pass. I think that was a situation there for Edwards. Okay, a good pass here to Conley for the drive. Okay, he catches in the post. He's going to get a lot of eyes on him in the post. Look at Porter Jr. He's turned his back to Nas Reed. which is an easy kick and shot for the sixth man of the year. Here again, he's drawn eyes, he's drawn eyes, spin. Now he's got two on him. Pivot, hit Reed for the score. That's probably another area where Edwards has made huge strides in his game is his ability to pass. Here, Caldwell Pope bites on the fake, kicks corner. Reggie Jackson's playing the cut. So an underrated aspect of this assist is, so one, he got Reggie Jackson, Jackson off position. He got him leaning he got, and made the pass, but then the hard cut froze Reggie Jackson in the corner, um, which gave uh, another wide open shot here. Here we go, Caldwell Pope. So Murray's playing the ball. Pope, look at look at that nail help. I mean, he he is not. He's left Reed. He's playing the drive. They're plugging that gap. Reed is ready to shoot. Again, off the bounce pass, catch, shoot. Bank was open. This one's my favorite right here. Plays pick and roll. Uh, Gordon is playing the tag man. So Gordon's playing between two guys on this weak side. He's got to play this role from Gobert. He's also got to play the corner for Nas Reed. We've seen Nas Reed hit a couple shots here. It's a close game, three-point game with five in the fourth. Um, a great cross-court pass to Reed. Tough, tough position to close out there and a finish. These are some of the reasons why I think Anthony Edwards is one of the best players in the league. Um, he's 22 years old. I think you know he's definitely a future MVP. And Minnesota is by far one of the hottest teams in the playoffs at 6-0. and I know Oklahoma City is, is right there with him as well. Um, and remember, on his finishing, it's not all about athleticism. Chin and eyes are to the rim. He's running through his finishes. He's watching them go in. His elbow is driving through his shoulder. He's got great extension, high-quality finishes up off the corner of the glass. Hit me up. Give me a follow on Instagram, at Nate Hartman underscore. I got a free ball handling workout for you guys. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe to the page, and I will send that to you. Give me a follow on Twitter as well, at, code, at Nate Hartman underscore. And check out my website for a whole bunch of free content, at CoachNateHartman.com. See you guys next time.